Hi, Maxwell Ryan here from Apartment Therapy. Today I'm visiting Rebecca Atwood in Brooklyn. Let's see what she's up to. Morning, Rebecca. Good morning. So what do you make? I make fabrics for the home and then products with those fabrics. Pillows? Pillows, primarily. We make some small accessories and then we're also going into wallpaper. Wallpaper? Yeah, it's exciting. Have you ever made anything that's just awful? Oh, totally. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I think that I used to be afraid to make things that were yeah. awful and now I would like to give myself the freedom to make things that aren't good because I edit them out and otherwise I might never find anything new. Where do you find your inspiration? I find my inspiration really all over the place, primarily from my childhood growing up on Cape Cod, walking around Brooklyn and just seeing like the weird intersections of things here. It might be a shadow on the sidewalk or you know a color that I'm seeing. Do you have time to draw every day? Mm, I don't but I'm trying to. So this is a big board of pictures and photographs mm -hmm. and designs and then you edit it all the way down and then and then you, when you get that mood board, what happens yes. next? So then we're really working on the patterns and that's okay. for me where it all, like all the, it really starts. And then I manipulate it on the computer, turn it into a repeat so we can then have it printed and it either gets screen printed or digitally printed. Cool. I actually like to work on about four sketchbooks at once so that while the paint's drying, I can keep moving. <laughs> I got it. So it looks like we're now in the showroom. Yes, this is our, our mini showroom of sorts. Um, it's kind of where we merchandise things and start to see how it all looks together. Did you go to school for this? Um, sort of. I went to school <laughs> for painting at Rhode Island School of Design. Well, I realized when I was graduating that textiles was probably the closest thing I could do um, to painting every day and for a job. So I actually started off at Anthropology in their home design team. How did you know you were ready to launch your own business? Um, I don't think I actually knew that I was ready to launch, but it was sort of like, what am I gonna do next? I needed, I needed that next thing. And there wasn't a design director role at a company I wanted to work for, so I was like, I'm gonna consult and I'm gonna do this, and okay. I, that was the safety net. Who should we visit next? Well, that's really hard, but I think that one, uh, one person I would say is Lindsay Emery of Sweet One Studio. She's a ceramicist in South Carolina, I believe. Terrific. Well, thank you yeah. so much. So great to visit with you. We're gonna let you get back to work right now, but we can't wait to see what happens next. Okay, thanks for coming.